This is a Le Creuset signature five and a half quart Dutch oven, sometimes referred to as a traditional French oven. It's an essential piece of cookware in every home because of its versatility. Today I'm gonna to cook short ribs in it. To get started, I'm gonna heat the pan so that we can brown the short ribs. We're gonna let that pan get nice and hot so that when we add the oil, we're ready to brown the ribs. While the pan's heating up, I'm gonna season the ribs with a little bit of kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper. We'll now add oil to the hot pan. And we have that ripple effect, which means that the oil is nice and hot and ready to add the ribs. So I'm gonna add the ribs fat side down. That searing sound means that the pan is nice and hot and it's gonna ensure that we get a nice crust on those ribs. We don't wanna overfill the pan so that they will brown properly. Once the ribs have released from the pan, we're gonna turn it over and brown it on the second side. The nice thing about the Le Creuset is its light stand interior allows us to monitor the browning process. These are cooked perfectly. We'll remove them from the oven and we will saute our vegetables. First, we'll add the onions and saute them just for a minute so that they soften up. We'll now add the carrots and allow them to caramelize briefly, bringing out the natural sugars of the carrots. At this point, we'll add the chopped garlic and cooking it just until we can smell the garlic. We'll add a few tablespoons of tomato paste and we'll cook that until the tomato paste browns. We're now gonna add flour, and we're gonna let that flour cook out so we get a really nice roux. We cook out the flour so we don't get that raw flour taste, and the fawn starts to develop on the bottom of the pan, which is gonna give us that nice flavor during the braising process. Okay. We're now gonna de deglaze the pan with red wine, stirring the vegetables as we add that so it'll thicken nicely. Most wonderful. And we'll also add some beef stock to that as well. We're gonna add the ribs back to the pan. And we're gonna cover it with a lid and we're gonna put it in the oven for about an hour and a half so they get nice and tender. Cast iron is perfect for slow cooking because of the heat distribution and the heavy lid holds in the flavor and the moisture. This whole thing can go in the oven because the knob is heat resistant up to 500 degrees. It's been about an hour and a half and our short ribs are ready. I'm gonna serve the short ribs with polenta. I'm dishing this up in the kitchen, but the Le Creuset is so beautiful, this could go right to the tabletop. 